Hi friends, I'm here with my friend Travis, and we are here today to keep going in our Bible lessons, huh? We have been learning about some amazing people in the Bible, and we're going to add another one today. The Bible's filled with stories of amazing people and how they lived their lives for God. Oh, that's a good point. We have actually been learning about kids that have been living their lives for God. All of them have started when they were young, learning and doing amazing things for God. You don't have to wait till you're older. No. Let's see if we can remember some of them. There was Esther, Queen Esther. Remember, she was just a young girl when she was chosen to go live in the castle. And her uncle had said, perhaps you were chosen for such a time as this. Maybe this is your time to do something amazing for God. And she listened and she did and she saved all of her people. Then who else is there? Let's see if we can remember somebody who had a colorful coat. That's right, Joseph. Joseph and his coat of many colors. And if you remember, he ended up getting shipped out. His brothers sold him. They thought about killing him. I know, not so good. And But he ended up saving everyone back then because he was able to interpret dreams. God gave him the interpretation of some dreams. And he ended up saving everybody with the food that he was able to help them remember to store. huh? And then, hmm, who else was there? Yeah, it had to do with a big, huge, scary giant. Yep. And it was David. David beat Goliath. And he saved his people. And these were all just young kids when this happened, huh? They served God in mighty ways. And you can too. And this story is about another young man. And his name is Daniel. And when he was 16 years old, soldiers came and told him and some of his friends, hey, you're leaving, pack your bags, you're coming with us, you're coming into the king's castle, and we're gonna train you in our ways, the Babylonian ways. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think I'd wanna just pack up and go that fast, but that's what they were told to do, and I don't know how they felt about that. I think that's part of the story, is how they felt because they had to all of a sudden pack up him and his friends and go to a place that was unfamiliar. But the amazing thing is they remembered that God is always watching over them, no matter where they're at. So that always helps. It helps when I go to some place that's unfamiliar or scary, and I don't know what to expect. I always remember that God is watching over at all times. It doesn't matter where and it doesn't matter when. God is always watching over. And that's actually our memory verse. It says, the Lord himself watches over us. Yeah? Travis has something in his heart. Shall we look and see what it is? He, he really wants us to look, so maybe we should take a look. Let me look and see what's in there. Oh, it's kind of stuck. Oh, it's soft and fluffy. He's got, aw, he's got his teddy bear. Why do you have your teddy bear with you? Yeah, he's, he went to a trip to his grandma's house and he brought his teddy bear for comfort. He was a little nervous because he's going to someplace different. And so he brought something comfortable to hang on to. So he's got his teddy bear. You know, that's a good trick if I ever go somewhere different somewhere new i like to bring things that i'm comfortable with that help me remember a little bit of familiarity something that i i know like oh i don't know do you guys ever bring your favorite blankie with you yeah <laughs> you do or what about your best pillow no no pillows he doesn't like pillows okay i don't know what do you guys like to bring with you on a trip? Do you, is there something that you go and grab? And it, maybe not your mom says, what about your socks and your shoes and your pants and your shirts? And the first thing you grabbed was a special teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> so that's something familiar, something comfortable. 
to take with you on a trip and it makes you feel a little bit of home. So I wonder if David and his friends packed something a little comfortable just so they could have a little bit of home with them. But one of the best things, friends, is always to remember that no matter where you're at and no matter where you go, that the Lord himself is watching over you. God's always watching over us to take care of us. And that is what I want to leave you with today. I want you to remember that no matter what happens and no matter where you're going, God himself is watching over you. That's what Daniel and his friends remembered as they marched into Babylon. And that's what you can even remember today, that God himself is watching over you. Huh? So we will go on with the story of Daniel and his friends next week. We'll find out what happened when he got there, because he had to go into the king's palace and learn some new things. And we'll see how he handled it and what him being taught of the Lord led his heart to do. So I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week and we will keep you and little teddy bear together. All right. Have a great week. Love you guys. Bye.